Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> the fevers are on me now. The virus mad to ravage my last 50 T cells. It's hard to keep the memory at full dazzle with so much loss to mock it. Roger gone, Craig gone, Caesar gone, Stevie gone. And this feeling that I'm the last one left in a world where only the ghosts still laugh. But at least they're the ghosts of full grown men, proof that all of us got that far, free of the traps and the lies. And from that moment on, the brink of summer's end, no one would ever tell me again that men like me couldn't love. From Borrowed Time, an AIDS memoir by Paul Monette, <laughs> West Hollywood author whose book, Becoming a Man, won the National Book Award. He died of AIDS in 1995 at age 49. I want to build an organization to save your life. If whales, snails, Chrysler, and Nixon can be saved, the lives of black men are priceless and must be saved. I don't want to wake up one day and read a report by the Heritage Foundation and find out that black people are extinct. From Essex Hemphill, editor of the Black Gay Anthology, Brother to Brother, and a visiting scholar at the Getty Center. He died of AIDS in 1995 at age 38. Go without hate, but not without rage. Heal the world. Paul Monette. They don't know we are becoming powerful. Every time we kiss, we confirm the new world coming. That's it simple. <laughs>